from day two, we said there's got to be other purpose here than us being sick. I didn't get sick just to be sick. I got sick because someone else needs us to help them get through this. This time last year, we introduced you to that couple, the Huberts. This family used their tough experience in order to help others. And this couple started collecting pumpkins. They had names of people who have taken on cancer on them. They also started fundraising for Roswell Park. This year, they're doing it again, but even bigger. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Taylor Reps here with us this morning explaining how this effort has grown. Taylor. Hey, Ed and Katie. Well, it's all about giving back for this West Seneca couple. Last year, they raised more than $8,000 for people battling cancer and for the second year of their garden raffle, they're hoping to raise even more by raffling off some really good prizes. The Huber family has some pretty neat things in the garage of their West Seneca home. We have a friend got a face and Robbie Takek signed it. Some signed Bill's memorabilia. My son got us a Marv Levy one. Coach Levy it says. A brand new grill and more, but none of it is for them. It's actually all donated from the community as part of their second annual garden raffle. Pam and Dave started the fundraiser last year. My friend came over with this fire pit. And I'm like, what am I going to do with it? He goes, let's start a fundraiser. And we raised a lot. We raised around 8,700 during the pandemic that we never expected to do. All of the money goes to the Roswell Park Angel Fund. And it basically is a fund to provide financial assistance to anyone who is going through cancer, making it you know, possible and accessible regardless of your financial situation. While the garage has all of the prizes, the special thing to see is the Hubert's backyard. And I thought about having these pumpkins coming into our yard and honoring anybody that's gone through cancer, whether they are fighting it now or have beat, you know, won the battle or uh, may have lost the battle. The Huberts went through their own battle when Dave was diagnosed with throat cancer in the fall of 2019. Until you've been through it, you don't know what cancer is like. And we've heard about it. We'd see it on TV and see Roswell advertisements, and we feel bad for people. Once you live through it, it's a whole different world. Two years later, he's healthier than ever. I feel like I'm 40 and not even close to that, so I feel really good. He says the staff at Roswell helped him tremendously through his 35 radiation treatments and two rounds of chemo. And I did not look like this a year and a half ago. I mean, mm -hmm. if you, you wouldn't even know I'd still be here the way I looked. And it's just because of those people and a lot of help. We just want to make sure other people have the same experience or at least close to it that we had. Now they just need people to enter their raffle before the drawing on October 29th. So something came of it at least to help somebody, you know, right. whatever this gets, yeah. someone's going to be a little better tomorrow because of me getting sick. Right. So it makes it not feel so bad. So you have until Friday to enter the raffle and it's $10 for one chance to win and $25 for three chances to get one of those six prize packages from booze and brews to autographs and gift cards to bills and grills and more. You can find the link to enter on our website at WKBW.com. Yeah, those prize packs look really great too. Do you know what's so important to point out that Tribute Garden of all the pumpkins with the names on it? It's huge. It's really big. There are so many people affected by cancer in our community mm -hmm. and to see the way that we're paying tribute to them and but the advances that we're making as well at Roswell Park, super important For to sure. keep in mind. They're a very nice family too. Very, very nice. And they raised like $3,000 so far. So wow. you have until Friday. They want to beat that $8,000 goal that they yeah. raised last year. You got plenty of time to help them out. It's, it's just great. cool how somebody decides, you know what, I'm doing this for this. And there you go. Well, that's how the 11-day power play started. True. You know, someone decided, I'm going to do this for Roswell and that starts in less than three weeks. Wow. So three weeks, I'll Are be ready. Are you feeling ready? Uh, you know what, I think I'm about as ready as I'm going to be. I want to get a few <laughs> more long runs in just to build some cardio because we are, if you hadn't, didn't know, we're playing playing hockey for 11 straight days. It'll be setting a new world record for the longest hockey game and uh, raising money for you know, cancer causes here in Western New York.